start off with the co-main event, Bantamweight title. We have the Funk Master, Aljamain Sterling, 21-3, and three, versus the former UFC Bantamweight champion, the number two ranked Bantamweight NCAA Division I wrestler, 17-4, and four, TJ Dillashaw. So what are your thoughts on this fight? <sighs> it's a lot to think about. Dillashaw's kind of older, 37. Aljo's just probably got through his probably his toughest opponent ever. And Peter Jan, we just spoke. I mean, what is TJ really going to bring to the table? It's been a long time. Last fight was against Corey Sanghagen, which he actually tore his ACL in that fight, which was crazy to even hear that. But after that, his last fight was to Henry Cejudo, who got knocked out mm. early first round. Mm. But Corey Sanghagen was a really good big test, and he passed it. So yeah, no it's just, what, are, what is TJ going to bring? Is he going to bring it all? We just don't know. It's a lot of variables there. I like TJ. I do a lot. I mean, only has four losses in his career. I think they're all championship fights. All of his losses are championship fights. Wow, what a, what a stat. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a crazy... I mean, he doesn't lose just a regular match. He only loses championship match, which is, is a championship match. So, it's an interesting thing. Only losses he's had was a title fight. This is a title fight. So, it's interesting. Aljo is a uh, man. What a what a grappler wrestler he is with striking. He also is a kickboxer. Has a four inch reach, which is going to play a lot. But he doesn't really win by TKO, and he usually just goes to decisions. So interesting. Is TJ going to turn the lights off quick, or is he going to fight the whole five rounds with him? Very interesting fight. Two championship caliber uh, fighters. You know, these are the type of fights that, as fans, just get me so excited because two two, two just uh, guys with such great accolades. You know, mm -hmm. coming you know coming together. So I mean, let's let's break it down. Let's let's talk about Aljo, the Funk Master, as as they call him. He's fighting out of Cortland, New York. He's got two knockouts. He's got eight submissions. This guy's got ten decisions. He's a BJJ black belt and NCAA Division mm -hmm. three wrestler. He's thirty three years old, five foot seven inches mm -hmm. tall, with a very long reach for his height at seventy one inches. One time performance of the night. And he's also tied for the second most wins at Bantamweight with Cheeto Vera. And he actually, another little stat there, he wrestled with John Jones in college. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. And he's the only that. person to finish Corey Sanhagen. He gave, he re and choked him in the first round. Yeah. And people forget about that because it just happened so quickly. You know, and Aljo was able to get Corey out of there in the first round by rear naked choke. Notable wins. He's 13-3 and three in the UFC. So he's a, definitely a top fighter. Jimmy Rivera, Pedro Munoz. And Corey Sanhagen, again, as we said, and Piotr Jan. Aljo's fought in a lot of great fighters. He's got a lot of great wins in his resume. But he does have some notable losses, one being to Rafael Sunsau. And we cannot forget the Marlon Marias KO, the knee in the first minute of the first round in 2017. Yep. So, with that being said, let's, uh, let's, let's break down TJ. TJ, he's fighting out of Sacramento, California. Mm -hmm. He's got eight knockouts, three submissions, two decisions. He's 36 years old. He's an NCAA Division I wrestler, stands 5 foot 6 inches tall, 67 inch reach. So Aljo does have the 4 inches on him yep. in reach and 1 inch in height. Former two-time champion, tied with Dominic Cruz for most successful uh, consecutive title defenses at Bantamweight. This guy's got the most KOs at Bantamweight, okay? He's got the most wins at 13. Three fight of the nights, five performances of the night. TJ is an awesome fighter, very entertaining in the octagon, and he's also the ultimate fighter season 14 runner-up. He did get KO'd in a loss to Josh Dodson, but he's 13-4 and four in the UFC. He's got uh, notable wins against Hanam, Hanam Barro, Cody Garbrandt, and Corey Sandhagen. Mm. So a mutual opponent for both of them. And, um, yeah, you know, with all that being said, um, who are you taking? Well, let's see. He, one of one of uh, Aljo's best things is his wrestling, and TJ has a pretty good takedown defense. So I'm looking at this as a stand-up fight. Who wins the stand-up fight? Do, we, do you have TJ or do you have Aljo? TJ looked really good on his feet, even with the torn ACL versus Corey Hagan, who is a really good striker. Um, I think, in, with saying all that, this fight's going to be on the on the feet, and I think that. TJ will keep it there, and I think TJ will win on the feet with the TKO in the fourth round. 
Wow. That's what okay. I got. Just like, yeah, great. You know, just like you said, you know, you did touch on the fact that TJ was knocked out at flyweight. He dropped down in weight in 32 seconds by the great Henry Cejudo, Triple C. Mm -hmm. So, with, you know, your prediction is you're taking TJ. Well, you know, when I look at this fight, Sterling has a lot of good wins. He's got really good wrestling, striking has come a long way. His grappling again. And TJ, he's had a lot of injuries. He's 36 years old, which is very old, especially for a lower weight class, like 135 pounds and he's been in a lot of wars you know those garbrandt fights come to mind and um, aljo has been a lot more active and again you know this is only tj's second fight in four years yep. you know those mm -hmm. peds the ped bust you know he lost a couple years from that and then he's he's been on a layoff he, he, over a year since he fought san hagen so um as crazy as it sounds, I'm agreeing with you. I think yeah. TJ turns back the clock. I think his championship pedigree, this guy's a winner. Mm -hmm. He's proven. I think he's just going to, I think he's he's gotten better. I think he still mm -hmm. has something left, and I think he's got a lot to prove, and he's going to come out there, and he's going to, he's going to, He's going to um, win a decision and become a three-time UFC Bantamweight champion. Yep. So we're both on the same yep. page with that. And Aljo's, Aljo's like, uh, TJ already said Aljo has a built-in excuse with saying that he's on the on PEDs again. Supposedly, I, TJ, well, are you? We don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think he looks probably definitely tested. Yeah, I mean, when you when you fill out many tests, you're on their hit list of getting tested and tested. So it's it's right. hard to say that he, he's gonna have to pass a test to even fight this fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like their decisions. I think it's a uh, a sound one compared to what. But I guess on Saturday we'll find out who will be the UFC being away champion. Yeah, I love this fight, and I love this weight class, man. 135, so much talent. Piotr Jan, like we said. We got Sean O'Malley, Chito Vera, these two, of course, and others like San Hagen, and, and so many guys up and coming. Very exciting weight class. Probably one of my favorite weight classes in the entire UFC. Yeah. So there's a lot of action. This one's going to be an epic fight, so we all have to be tuning in because this one will be fireworks. Yep. But...